Hey guys and welcome to a game that I've been waiting for for a long time. This is Satisfactory. So I uh, I saw this game at E3 a while back and uh, I couldn't wait to get my hands on it. Unfortunately, we can only uh, we can only show or we can only play the uh, the first three tiers of tech right now in this uh, this alpha weekend that we've got on the go just now. So we won't be able to completely destroy the game, but uh, there's plenty of time for that. Plenty of time for that. Let's go into a new game. We're playing on the grass fields. I want a private session and we're going to call a uh, uh, Ducks Ahoy. Okay. Creating an online session. I don't want an online session. Give me a regular session. Give me a completely solo I don't welcome back. Don't say welcome back. I haven't even seen you before. Hot OS. This is 100% my um my first impressions. I haven't seen any sort of gameplay. I haven't seen any of anything really to do with uh, Satisfactory. I've never launched it. I've had um Hello. instructional video is a summary of your impending duties as an exoplanetary pioneer for Fixit Incorporated. Fixit pioneers have three cyclical assigned pillars of work to ultimately accomplish project assembly. Use provided blueprints to build the necessary buildings. Chart the planet and gather resources to provide desired results and improve your infrastructure. Make sure to report any unusual discoveries to R&D for analysis. Okay. Your factories, outposts, and pipelines through automation and augmentation. That's it. Get to work and be effective. <laughs> Get to work. Imminent. Please remain seated during full procedure. Atmospheric entry in five, four. Three, two, one. Planetfall procedure initialized. So yeah, as I say, I've I've intentionally not looked at anything. I've not launched the game. I I caught, I actually got uh, a key for the alpha access literally as soon as the as soon as it came out, and I passed on it so other people could play it because I wanted to because it was under NDA. I wanted to record my first impressions of the game so you guys can see it. So yeah, I've been looking forward to, to finally getting to launch this game for quite a while. It's uh, strange playing a, a first person factorio style game. Am I dropping frames on OBS? Or am I dropping frames on game? Very difficult to tell. We've currently got the game in... The game looks bloody good, man. Remember, Jesus Christ. First. Yes, efficiency first. I think we may be losing some frames on OBS, so what I'm gonna do. The resulting materials will be repurposed to construct a habitat and utility base from now on referred to as the hub. So we're going to knock down to... Visit incorporated as cost effective and efficient. We do not waste. There you go. Much better. So dismantle the drop pod. Okay, and hold left mouse button to dismantle. Sweet! So I've got hub parts. Second objective. Please ensure you have your Fixit Incorporated Xeno Zapper equipped before leaving the drop zone. Note, according to Fixit regulations, every pioneer should have access to a means of defense against extraterrestrial threats. <laughs> nice. Third objective. Please familiarize yourself with the resource scanner to find iron. Note. The acquisition of iron is considered essential in preparation for all future objectives. Is that? 290225. Right, let's charge off this way. Uh, C to scan for resources, E to gather resources, iron ore will be needed for crafting. Pick up leaves and, and flower petals. Brilliant! Okay, we might want to start skipping through the fields in order to... 
What the fuck are you? Ah, get the thing. Come here. Get teased, you. Ah, tease your asshole. Hello. Ah, okay. Okay, so there's pure iron ore here. To complete this objective, the resources salvaged from the drop pod will be consumed. Caution. Ensure the hub is built on spacious open terrain close to the presence of iron sources. Failure to do so will likely result in non-optimal progress. Fucking dick! Come here! It's a baby. Douche lord. Uh, build menu is Q. Hit the hub. Jesus. Sure. Don't get there. It's bloody big. Look at that thing. Please give me a sniper. Alright, um... I turned down the the overall audio, but there we go. Let's turn it up a little bit. I just want the lady to be a bit louder, so I can make ingots. Plates are made from ingots. Rods are made from plates. Ah, oh, okay. So I need to hold this down. Add to to-do list. I'm guessing there's got to be no other reason for my iron. Or at least by the time we get there we'll need something else. Right, so what do I need? Upgrade the hub by using the hub terminal. Craft. Okay, so I need 10 iron rods. Okay. Sure, select milestone. Waiting for resources. How do. Eh? Oh, just drag and drop. Sorted. Alright, sweet. Waiting for number two. I need wire. You have unlocked hub feature biomass generator, hub feature personal storage, scanner feature copper. New equipment, buildings and blueprints which can be found in the workshop when built, build menu and craft bench respectively. Sixth New equipment. Objective, hub upgrade, construction. Note, connect buildings to a generator for power. Note. Buildings such as the smelter require a blueprint to be set. Advice. Automate the smelting process and use portable miners for optimal results. Right, I've got power lines, I've got an equipment workshop. I'm guessing that this... No, that looks like the exact same crafting bench. Uh, hold C is switch what resources to scan for, so I can scan for copper. Build an equipment workshop where you can craft equipment like the portable miner. Okay. So I need this thing. What do I need? Six iron plates and six iron rods. Okay. Six and... Six. Okay, equipment workshop. Dunk it. Right, that gives me portable miners which require iron plates, wire and cable. Okay, so in order to get that, I'm going to need to... 
get some copper ore, which is going to be here. Sweet, we're getting there. Motherfucker. Could have fell down there. Right, you, dickhead. Oh ho! Ow. What hitting me? Right, let's mine this out of uh, copper ore. Wonder if this vehicle's. This game looks so good. There's limestone there as well. The fuck are you? Look at it move. It's just scooting. <laughs> this is early access, by the way. Oh man. It's just scooting a bit. Right, I need eight wire and four cable. Alright. I don't think I need any uh, copper ore for anything. Was it 8 wire and 4 cable? By the looks of it, each one of these makes 3 wire. Alright. So. Four cable is eight, so I need sixteen wire. Okay. Cannot afford the recipe because I need four iron plates as well. Alright, portable miner created. Build an equipment workshop where you can build one. Equip portable miner and place it on a resource node. Uh, build smelter stock and make the production and use a biomass burner for power supply. Uh, I don't have a biomass burner. Can I... I can make a smelter and power line. So I need... 8 cable and 5 rods. So I need 6 more... Uh, wires. And 5 rods. Oh shit, this thing just does its... It just does its own thing. Alright, let's grab the smelter. Get that built. Use biomass burner for power supply. Is this the biomass burner? Aha, it is. Ah, so I dunk. <laughs> biomass in it. Alright, sweet. So where's the... I'm guessing I'm going to need... Power lines used to connect power poles, power generators, and factory buildings. Okay. Where's cables? Missing... Oh shit! Okay, this needs... Three wire, iron rod, and concrete. Okay. But I don't even have concrete. So how the heck am I supposed to... Like, I can't power this thing up without concrete. So where is... Ah, so to get concrete, I need to to do this. I need ten, 
10 plates, 10 rods, and 50 wire. Alright, let's manually do this then because my smelter ain't working for me, is it? Ten plates, ten rods, and wait, how much wire? Did I say fifty wire? Well, it is. Right, let's get the ten. Ten plates. Ten rods. We'll grab the fifty wire. Alright, plates, rods, wire, plates, there we go. What on Damn. That's cool, what's this? My house. New buildings, craft of parts, scannable resources, you and I'm upgraded. Scanner, stone. Fabulous. New buildings and blueprints, which can be found in the build menu and craft bench respectively. Alright, I can make biomass out of leaves. Objective. Hub upgrade, conveyor belts. Note. Use Ooh. power poles to expand the power network for optimal results. Note, constructors are capable of constructing copious parts, of which only one type at a time. Uh, build constructors taught make production of simple parts. Build power poles to extend your power grid. Expand your production to upgrade faster. Oh my god, you're adorable. Hello. Press E to pet the lizard doggo. Where are you going? No, come here! I'll zap you. Ah! Spam pet. You are my friend now. That's how it works. I'll pick all these flowers for you. Eh, can't even zap it. Grab all the leaves for biomass. It says I can turn these into biomass now? I can. Okay. Um, I need some concrete. Purples to extend your power grid. Okay, so if we chop this limestone. Come on. Uh, if we chop this limestone, I should be able to make this into concrete so that we can place some purples. Then we can get our. Uh, this thing alt made. Can I claim this? No, I can configure it though to make. Okay. I can claim it. Let's go. Cool. Uh, right. All right, we're still tier zero. Oh, that's cool. Um, any concrete? Bash me out some of them. Oh, I need some rods. Wait, so before I couldn't make power poles, but now I can make power poles. Whereas it said that I can make power poles. We got. Oh, never mind then. Alright, grab some iron rods. Do I need to... I need to dunk the iron ore in. Alright. Let's do that. Dunk the iron ore in and we need to get power. Okay, get a power line and uh, let's dunk it out front. A dupe. All right, we're connected. Sweet. All right, so I can now take the ingot straight out of that. Because that's doing what it needs to do. Sweet. Then we'll make a second one for copper. Uh, that's some biomass for you. 
Okay. Production, we want another smelter. We need to get a constructor for some stuff as well. Uh, I need some more cable for that, so let's... that's the wrong place. Some wire. It's not cable, Stijo. It's wire. Uh, right, let's get the other smelter. Oot, right there. Alright, get a power pole here. Actually, do I even need a power pole there? Could I have just connected... No, I can't. I can't connect more lines to that. Alright, perfect. And we'll get this set up for copper. I don't think I've got any copper ingots. Uh, copper nugs. Alright, but unfortunately, guys, that's all we've got time for in this episode. So, as always, thanks a lot for watching. I've been Steve, you've been awesome, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.